Welcome back to Small Engine Resurrection. Here's the engine that we did the teardown on. Top end. Got the new cylinder on there. The new head. All the new gaskets. Um, new piston and rings. This is the first time I've ever done piston and rings in one of these little small engines. Uh, I'm kind of worried, nervous that I got the, because I had to reinstall the cylinder and slide the piston over a couple times, hoping them rings didn't get clocked different. Um, then when I had them on there, this is the old piston we took out, and the rings, which I think were good, they wasn't stuck or nothing. I'm thinking it was the old cylinder, which is right here, it was scarred up pretty good. Gonna keep this, clean it up, try to reuse it. I think it's still good. I think it was uh, some scratches, but I'm gonna try to hone that out too. I don't know if it'll work or not, but anyway, um, no, I didn't record putting the stuff together, but this video here is gonna see if we failed or succeeded. Either way, um, it's got to be done, tested. I got the. That's the first thing I want to do is just do compression test to see what we got. Last time we had what, like 70 or something. I <sighs> got the new starter on it. Got that all hooked up. So let's just check compression before we go any farther. See if we got any uh, leaks coming out anywhere. Right, let's see one right here. Just looking out the side right there. I wonder if it's because I got it. I wonder if it's because I got it sitting like that. No, it shouldn't because that's how it sits in the quad. Why is it leaking out of there? Oh. I'll tell you guys, this stuff's frustrating sometimes. Mm. I mean, technically, um, it shouldn't be leaking nowhere. I got everything put on right and replaced. Um, all the gaskets and seals are in. Sure, white's looking out of there. But I really can't start working on nothing else or go any farther until I get this engine done, put back on that quad, and get it ready to be sold. So this engine has to be running right. So I got the battery charger here, we're going to hook it up and uh, check compression real quick. So, you guys ever want to, if you're going to buy one of these quads or engines or whatever, as long as it's got a starter on it, you don't need nothing else hooked up. Take a battery, jumper pack, whatever, it's your electric source. Take your positive, find your starter cable. Or if it ain't got a cable, a little prong sticking out there. Hook your positive to that. Make sure you have a good clamp on there. Grab our negative. Let's turn this on. This thing's old school, guys. <laughs> but hey, it works. It works really good. It'll jump my big truck. Start it up, no problem. Let's see. Then you take your negative and just hold it to the starter or bolt wherever you want. So let's watch the tester. Come on, guys, we're hoping for at least 100, 120. Um, there's new piston, new head, new rings, all that. So, then we'll see if we got any leaks over here. Let's go. Hmm. That's not too good. <laughs> That's what we had about last time before we even did all that. Might be a little more. There is no carbon on here, so it's not throttle open. Um, so 
Let's see. Let's try it again. Maybe the the rings and so if we got any leaks. It's leaking back out of there again. I wonder why it's doing that. If you guys know why it'd be leaking out of the that's where the uh, timing gear and chain it is cover for that. The watch like now there shouldn't have a problem. That's the way it sits in the quad like that. So mm. it's a little wet around that dude on at the bottom. Why are these covers leaking? Oh yeah, she's wet around the bottom of that cover too, under the arrow. <sighs> Maybe since it's um brand new top end. Maybe it just needs. I don't know to turn over and warmed up um, so everything can properly seat. And warm up and fit right i don't know i know this is getting frustrating but um let's give it a, try, a couple more tries to see what we got here so you just take this i'll just usually just touch it on there oh we got oil everywhere why is that leaking? <clears throat> okay, well. Okay. Got a lot, little more, uh, little, well, probably about the same. If anybody knows exactly what these, these little 110 engines are supposed to have, Please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm believing it's around at least 100, 115, maybe more. Um, I'm hoping it's just the rings or something because they're new. I need to clean this up, maybe tighten them down or put a different washer on it. Figure out why it's leaking. Let's give it another go. Hmm. Well, guys, seems like a fail. Let me turn this off real quick. Okay. Oh, this compression tester is good. It's brand new. It's cheap though from Harbor Freight. Right on there good and tight. Yeah, it's looking good at that bottom. Where your valves and stuff are. Top valve plate. Adjust them here and there. Oh, 